The goal of this exercise is to apply Drude's theory to a real measurement and to extract the density and mobility of the electrons in a two-dimensional electron gas. So here we've been given this uh, measurement where the resistivity components rho xx and rho xy are plotted against magnetic field B. We see this curve is the Hall resistivity rho xy and this curve is the longitudinal resistivity rho xx. We start from the Drude expressions um, for the longitudinal resistivity, which we previously called rho L, which is given by 1 divided by the sheet density of electrons times the elementary charge times the mobility, and the transverse resistivity rho xy uh, which we previously called the Hall resistivity rho h, which is given by 1 divided by the elementary charge times the sheet density. In addition, we use the expression for the mobility given by mu is elementary charge times scattering time divided by effective mass of the electrons. Now, these are the basic equations, but if you ask an experienced um, experimentalist who is familiar with such curves um, to uh, estimate density and mobility, he would relatively quickly, within a few seconds probably, come up with um, numbers like from the data I see here, a density of 2.4 times 10 to the 15 per square meters for the sheet electron density, and a mobility of, say, 27 meters squared per volt seconds, um, just from looking at the data. And in this exercise, we want to, of course, work out these numbers from the given equations, but also get a feeling for how the experienced person could be so quick in just looking at the data and telling these numbers. So from the graph, we do it step by step. We extract, first of all, the change in the Hall resistivity rho xy over this field range of 2.5 tesla. And if you do that with a ruler in a more careful way, then you find values delta rho xy of 6.47 kilo ohms Um, for a change in magnetic field, delta B, which is 2.5 Tesla. Using our formula here, uh, where we miss the magnetic field B, um, we obtain the fraction 1 divided by the elementary charge times the sheet density is given by delta rho xy divided by delta b. And inserting these numbers gives 2.6 times 10 to the 3 meters squared per amp seconds. Now, with the elementary charge given by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 amp seconds, we will work out that the sheet density Ns is indeed 2.4 times 10 to the 15 per square meter. This is our first result obtained entirely from the slope of the Hall resistivity. For Determining the mobility, we will now make use of the knowledge of 1 divided by ENS, which was our expression for the Hall resistivity here. And we see that mu is just given by this 1 divided by elementary charge times sheet carrier density divided by rho xx. So from the figure we read rho xx at zero magnetic field which turns out to be 96 ohms. And doing the little calculation, 
we find a mobility of 27 meters squared per volt second, uh, which is the same as 20, uh, 270,000 centimeters squared per volt seconds. Now, knowing the mobility, we can, using this expression, easily work out the scattering time. So tau would be given by the mobility mu divided by the elementary charge by effective mass ratio. The effective mass for gallium arsenide is given to be 0 0.067 times the free electron mass and the free electron mass can be looked up to be 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms and using these numbers we find the ratio E over M which is 2.6 times 10 to the 12 meters squared per volt second squared and this gives the desired estimate of the scattering time tau which is 0 0.38 picoseconds times the mobility in units of meter squared per volt second which gives 10.3 picoseconds So you see that even doing the full calculation, we arrive at the uh, desired quantities relatively quickly. But where's the trick uh, that I announced in the beginning, which would allow a specialist to very quickly come up with numbers? My trick for getting the density, and I'm sure you can work this out very quickly from this relation here, my trick in working out the density is to say the field in Tesla at a point where the Hall resistivity reaches 6.25 kilo ohms gives me the electron density in 10 to the 15 per square meter. So we see that 6.25 kilo ohm would be roughly here in our graph and I read here a field of 2.3, 2.4 uh, Tesla, and this would be the number, the density in 10 to the 15. So I read these 2.3, 2.4 um, um, times 10 to the 15 electrons per square meter in agreement with our calculated result. So that's the first trick. The trick for obtaining the mobility makes use of the fact that if you look at these two expressions at a point where rho x x is equal to rho x y we have the magnetic field being equal to the inverse mobility so all we need to find out is where is rho x x equal to rho x y and in this particular graph we have the problem of course that the scales are different. We have a hundred here where we have four kilo ohms there. So there's a factor of 40 uh, change in scale between the two. So we have to consider this factor of 40 later on uh, for scaling the number that we get. So we remember the factor of 40 and look at the point where a hundred ohms roughly is reached by the green curve. That's roughly at 1.5 Tesla, three half of a Tesla. The inverse of that, two-thirds would be the mobility. But then there's the factor of 40, so we have 80 thirds. 80 divided by 3 is roughly 27, say. So we get 27 meters squared per volt second in agreement with the mobility that we found here.